The impact of the food we eat on our health is uh, well known by now, and for years, Americans have been fighting obesity somewhat successfully. We invited, we invited Dr. Vili Abram, expert on uh, international marketing and consumer behavior from Israel's Sapir College to the studio to tell us more on this matter. Thanks for coming in, Dr. Agri. Great pleasure. So, um, what, what what do you think led to the current past, maybe still current, we'll hear from you, uh, uh, overweight problem in America? Okay, so it's first of all the consumption of junk food, sometimes because of a choice. People want to eat junk food, mm -hmm. but sometimes due to a lack of choice. We know that about 11 and a half uh, million Americans live in so-called food deserts, meaning there's no access uh, to fresh fruit and vegetables. So these are the, the, this is the main uh, reason why. I see. So for them, it's not really. They have to get out of their way to 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 seek uh, 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 fresh vegetables or perhaps more healthy food. They have to eat fast food. Exactly. It means that they have no choice. Although I have right. to say that I did read this morning that there is a fast food chain yeah. that sells fresh uh, fruits and vegetables and, and healthier food. That they've opened their first branch mm. in in L.A which also has uh, well, food they, deserts. Well, LA so, has a few uh, uh, healthy options, uh, yeah, I'm but sure. Yeah, they're, but they're food deserts. There are some areas that really have within no LA, access right. yeah, within yeah. LA. All right, so this uh, uh, is impacting uh, health directly, but it's also impacting the economy. Exactly. And we know that uh, the direct and indirect costs of, of, uh, of the diseases that develop as yeah. a result of eating junk food yeah. is estimated to be somewhere between $147 billion to $210 billion a year. Yeah. That's a great impact on the okay. economy. Now, are things getting better, though? Well, somewhat. Um, people are eating healthier, but only 2.7% of the American population is eating, eating healthier, and the rest is not. Now, a study that was published in 2013 shows that 50% of Americans find it easier working out their income tax yeah. They're knowing how much, how many milligrams of this or how many grams of that to consume. Yeah. So it, it's that's it's, not because the the tax is uh, the income managing the income tax is easy. Exactly, but it's easier because they really get it could really be confusing. Right now there is a, 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 um, a the matter even though they are improving and more Americans are eating healthier, there's there's a huge gap I think that is building between that that's getting bigger and bigger between the rich and the poor. Unfortunately, yes, and there are several reasons for this. So first of all, really, the salaries, the income between the, the poor and the rich Americans is increasing, just like it is in the rest of the developing and developed world. Um, the price of healthy food is really expensive. Now, if we talk about food deserts, it's a serious problem because poor Americans who live in food deserts, okay, in poor neighborhoods, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't have a car to get to the next town to buy fresh produce. Right. So it makes their, their position worse off. That's yeah. one thing. Another thing is that po poor Americans sometimes have to work more than one job. So it means that they cannot cook fresh fruit. So taking all of these things together, it just increases the gap. Right. So what can be done to, to, to fight this problem? Okay, so some things are being done. I mean, today in schools, 99% of schools, healthy eating is part of the curriculum. So I think we should increase uh, education so that people do know how much they have to consume and how much they shouldn't consume. As we said, that there's confusion about this. Um, another thing is, is uh, taking away soda machines from schools, mm -hmm. which has been done. Mm -hmm. However, in that same school where there are no soda machines, children can buy from the school store or get soda from the cafeteria. So that's not really effective. So we really need a more uh, holistic approach. Not to only problem. take away the problem, but offer an alternative exactly. as well in schools, in poor neighborhoods. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Vili Abram, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. It was a pleasure. That's uh, our show for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, join us again tomorrow for another edition of The Daily Beat right here on I24 News. Till then, check out our website, i24news.tv. You can also uh, look us up on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to write us and uh, we'll definitely take your notes to heart. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.